what's up guys i'm here at london luton airport here in the uk tonight i am heading across to amsterdam with vueling airlines who are a spanish low-cost airline they operate flights all around europe just like easyjet and ryanair do the question is are they going to be any match for easyjet and ryanair on tonight's flight over to amsterdam let's head inside and find out it's been a long time since i've flown from luton airport in the past it was always a really busy cramped airport but they've recently completed a massive renovation of the terminal i was actually looking forward to seeing how much it's changed the airport is massively improved over how it used to be it's clear that it's expanded beyond recognition from the low ceilings and dingy corridors that were here previously my flight was on a friday evening which is one of the busiest times of the week at luton so i bought a fast track security pass for six pounds in an attempt to get through security a little bit quicker Once through security, I walked through to the departure lounge which is massively improved on how it used to be. It's really bright and spacious with loads of high quality shops to look around as you wait for your flight. Luton is still a relatively small airport that's even restricted on movements by the local council, but the terminal renovation manages perfectly that balance of compact versus modern, and just goes to show that an airport doesn't have to be Dubai or Heathrow sized to get a wonderfully modern airy terminal. I decided to head upstairs to the Aspire lounge. For now it's the only airside lounge here at Luton, but it will soon be followed by a number one lounge as well. I got into the Aspire lounge with my Priority Pass membership. Priority Pass is a great program that gives you access to over 1200 airport lounges all around the world, regardless of the airline or class of travel you're in, for an annual subscription. Check out the link in the description below that gives a really cool discount of a membership with them. The Aspire Lounge here doesn't offer any airside views, but it does let you relax in a modern, comfortable environment with views over the departure lounge. There's a number of drinks and snacks included, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, as well as free Wi-Fi and comfortable seats and sofas. The lounge offers these special snooze pods which look really comfy and are in a soundproof room. So I'm here in the Aspire Lounge at Luton Airport. I've just found out my flight is a two and a half hour delay. Ouch. It's made slightly better by the fact there is quite a nice priority pass lounge here at Luton. I'll just chill for a little bit and see what time we end up going. I was impressed that the Aspire Lounge also offers gender neutral bathrooms, which makes it a lot easier, particularly if you're traveling as a family with children. Luton Airport always start boarding incredibly early in my experience. I made the mistake this time of heading to the gate as soon as the flight said go to gate. On arriving at the gate I benefited from early boarding due to having a space plus seat which simply meant I got to go and queue up at the bottom of the stairs at the front of the queue. Once I got down there, the aircraft had only just arrived and the passengers hadn't even finished disembarking from their inbound flight. I get that this improves efficiency and leads to shorter turnarounds and all that, but it's really frustrating to be called for boarding just to have to stand on a flight of stairs for 20 minutes because the aircraft isn't ready. Finally, the doors opened and I made my way out to the aircraft. Today's aircraft was an Airbus A320. It's just six years old and was delivered to Vueling brand new in 2013. As I mentioned earlier, I purchased Space Plus seats which take up the first four rows. We pushed back and began our taxi out just short of two hours late.
let's take a quick look at our route this evening. We took off to the east, heading out over Suffolk towards the North Sea coast. From there we crossed the North Sea into the Netherlands, making an approach to Schiphol's Polderbarn runway, some distance to the west of the airport. Flight time this evening was just 38 minutes at a cruising altitude of 23,000 feet. Due to the flight being so short this evening, the food and drink service was running on an on-demand basis only. You just have to press the crew court button to request food or drink. Because it was the end of the day, the flight was out of many things and the beer was served at room temperature rather than chilled. I took the only beer that they had left, San Miguel, and salted almonds rather than peanuts. Wellings buy on board service offers a good variety of food and drink when they have it in stock, that is. I didn't think the prices were too bad either for onboard service. Wellings in flight magazine is called Ling. It has a nice route map and information about the service on board. This page gives you a nice overview of the different seating options available on Welling. After what seemed like no time at all, we were on approach to Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. We had landed on runway 18 right, also known as the infamous Polder Barn. This runway is a whopping 5 miles or 8 kilometers from the terminal building and requires a taxi of around 20 minutes after landing. That's almost half the length again of the flight from London. My flight today cost me £96 or around $126 US dollars for a distance of 220 miles making it a rather expensive 44 pence per mile. This was broken down into £77 for the flight and a further £19 for the Space Plus seat with priority boarding. Once off the plane, there was a mammoth walk to customs through the huge terminal here at Schiphol. Passport control was a breeze straight through the e-passport gates in no time at all. I really will miss being able to do this after the UK exits the European Union. Once outside, I made my way to the free shuttle bus to the Crown Plaza Hotel. It takes around 15 minutes on the bus from the terminal here at Schiphol. So 
I'm here in Amsterdam Schiphol Airport at the Crown Plaza Hotel after my flight over from London Luton with Vwelling Airlines on the Airbus A320. As far as Vwelling goes, they're a really nice little airline. The onboard service was okay, the meal service was good, the, flight, the prices of the in-flight menu were pretty decent too, so it wasn't too bad at all really. I hope you've enjoyed my review of Vwelling Airlines. Let me know what you think of Vwelling in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time here on In-Flight Video.